I have never been more pissed off in my entire life. So when you go to an automotive store when you're wrapping your car and you ask them for some adhesive, you go show them what was going on with your car, what you needed the adhesive for, and they give you this? Now, it corrodes your wrap. I had my hood all done. I had my, or whatever, the roof all done. And I put the stuff on right here and it started corroding the wrap. I'm so off because it came out perfect. It literally, the hood, it literally came out perfect. I'm so mad right now, dude. Well, at least for round two, I know I'm gonna uh, do pretty good. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have to pick this up. No. I, don't, I really don't think that I'm gonna be able to get away with uh, this one right here. See it? Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna pick it up. There's no way. I'd rather just fix it now than uh. have it set and have to fix it you know what I mean so basically what I'm doing right now I hope Mark you're watching this video brother um, because I am even if I mess this up guys uh, this really is this is just for me to get some experience hands-on I know that it's a waste of money paying for the wrap when it when I'm taking you gotta keep this is my third time doing it already but I bought three times the amount of wrap that was three times the amount of wrap that I need because uh because I wanted to learn you know what I mean I mean because it's, it's definitely not the wrap you know what I mean so this part is what I kind of why I wanted to start from the middle this time. Um, I mean, I started kind of from the middle the last time, but something else I didn't do was keep the paper on. And yes, my I did cut my finger because I'm stupid. Um, for all of you wondering, why is your finger painted? Uh, it is in fact because I cut it. And the thing with roof, man, is like, if you have two... Two people, it's so much easier because you can pull where you need to pull. It's just the fucking cars in the way of where you want to go, you know? Again, guys, I'm just doing what works for me. You know, we all have different ways. And I did, I had this perfect uh, last time. It's that fucking glue shit they gave me. I fucked it all up. Still pissed about that, dude. Like, wicked pissed. You know what I mean? I'm seriously, I would be on my trunk. I wish I could, like, get up on the roof of my car. You know what I mean? By the way, what I'm doing here is not like recommendations from Mark, recommendations from you know professionals or anything. This is just me doing what I did the last time and what worked for me and I want to share it with you guys. You know what I mean? So hopefully this is more like tips for beginners, you know what I mean? instead of uh, people that actually know what they're doing, you know what I mean? 
I have some bubbles here that I'm trying to fix. That's why I'm using my finger. Coming out 100%. Yep. I don't know why that one did. So this is another big one. And for everyone that thinks there's going to get be stuff up in that, um, I mean, yeah, probably could get some stuff up there, but. Oh no. Let me separate those. Or try to. There we go. So if you can like separate the bubbles into like different bubbles and make them like smaller, it's easier to get them out. Like you saw, you know what I mean? Um, and if you're a beginner, you're gonna get bubbles. It's just there's no way around it. Um, unless you have like some a really good teacher, you know what I mean? Um, kind of like I do, but we all we've only done our hood together. So I'm just more he gave me a DVD Mark gave me a DVD to um, learn and Getting pissed at that light going out all the time here. Uh, I, I just want to show him that I'm Watching it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna separate those because that's a big bubble. So this is a small one. I'm going to clump it up a little more. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and let the air come out. That's one bubble. This is a big one. So I'm going to show you how to remove this bubble. I'm going to, there's another bubble right there. Again, guys, like I said, I'm new. So I'm going to get a lot of stuff like this. But the thing is, with the Vivid Vinyl that I got, man, is it's like, you can mess up. And as long as you patch it in time, you can fix it. Like you can't like go back after, you know, you, you know, you wrap your whole hood and then you go back and try to fix the stuff that you messed up. Like you have to do it as you're messing up. You know what I mean? Like the bubbles, I was just gonna fix afterwards. Um, and that should be enough for that. I'm gonna press down a little bit. Go ahead and... Uh, Pump it up a little bit more. That should be enough. Air released. This is another big one. Make sure you do it slowly in corners because what it's doing is it's gathering every, it's like gathering all that stuff up there. And as you guys can see, these are some like big bubbles that I'm like taking out of the wrap you know what I mean so what I've noticed is go by by the corners like as you can see it's like pointy and I, I push the point there's like a point right there you push the point and even if it doesn't come out it's on the edge you know what I mean so it's kind of like you can just pick it up you know I'm just trying to show you guys how good the wrap I mean, how good it actually works. You know what I mean? Because it does work really, really well. We're, we're at about a quarter of what it was. Get rid of it. You guys saw how big that bubble was. Yeah, we're going to get rid of it. Maybe. I think it was too big. Well, either way, it's right on the edge. I just wanted to show you how good it is, you know, or how good it works. I gotta do here, man. Suck. There we go. There we go. I need someone you to hold my gun for me, dude. So 
that bubble was a little bit too big. But you guys got the picture. I did a couple of other ones there. You know what I mean? And read the wrap. Like it's telling me to go this way. So do a little bit at a time. This is the edge. So I probably should cut that so I know. You got to keep in mind the trim is not on yet. So yeah, it looks pretty crappy right there right now. And I still got to do the back. I got to tuck the back in. But for me to be able to do that makes me pretty happy, dude. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's some, there's definitely some imperfections. Um, like right here, I messed up a couple times. I don't know if the camera is going to get it, but like that right there. There's one right there you guys can see. There's a couple right there you guys can see. Now we're going to finish it off, boys. I removed this tape now. So I can heat that up and, um, or not, yeah, remove the tape. I, for a second I thought I said uh, knifeless tape. 